Hey there guys, it's Luke here, your digital concierge at Gramophone. Today we have the all new MB20 Bluetooth transceiver from Macintosh with us. Bluetooth has finally gone high end. The MB20 is an easy way to add Bluetooth abilities to almost any high end stereo system or be able to stream Bluetooth back to a different device. Being that this is a transceiver, it can work both ways. And because you know it's from Macintosh, you know it's gonna be a high quality product and get the absolute best that we can get out of Bluetooth performance. So we're gonna dive in and figure out why did Mac make a Bluetooth transceiver and why is this one going to be better than almost any other thing that you can find out there. But before we do, make sure you guys subscribe to the Gramophone channel, click the bell notification icon. Don't wanna miss out on any of the great highlights we've got coming up. So we start just by pulling up the flap here. There is our owner's manual right there. Here is a little reply card from Mac about sharing your system. And here is your one year warranty card. And inside, oh yeah. Oh my gosh, okay. Just picking this up, it's already way higher quality than I thought it was. That is a little brick. That's awesome. We've also got a couple different power adapters for different countries. Standard wall brick, antenna, USB power cable, micro USB, and my favorite, we have the most essential component, a donut. First impression, just lifting it out of the box. Uh, immediately feel that cold anodized aluminum on the sides and feel the weight of it, which is quite literally about the weight of a brick. And first thing I notice on the back, this is a Bluetooth device with XLR in and out. What the heck? All right, well, with that said, let's not waste any more time. Let's talk about why this unit is that good. This is equipped with both Qualcomm Aptex HD and their Aptex Low Latency, giving you fast speeds with the highest quality transmissions that we can currently achieve for Bluetooth. When you want the best, Aptex by Qualcomm is what you do. This piece is a little bit unique in that it's not just a digital only device. This has a built-in 32-bit, 192 kilohertz DAC that can put audio out through analog, both unbalanced through RCA and balanced through XLR. And that's the part that blows my mind. But of course, it can also output digital, both through coax and through optical. But digital output is fixed at 96 kilohertz, however, for almost every real world use case that is more than enough. And being that this has a digital out, you could use this with a third party DAC, but still are trying to get the best Bluetooth transmission possible. When you use this as a transmitter, you can feed both digital and analog into it and have that sent over the air. If feeding in analog, the ADC, as opposed to DAC, analog to digital converter, can do so with a noise floor of minus 110, making it very, very, very quiet, accurate conversion. And this unit is capable of running both ways, a receiver or a transmitter, hence we get the word transceiver, and that is selectable just by a little switch toggle on the back of the device. This has a total harmonic distortion of less than 0 0.005, which as far as specs are concerned, might as well be perfect because that is so far below the threshold of audibility, it doesn't matter. It makes a perfect frequency response of 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz. And of course, let's not forget, last but not least, the output impedance, which is a minimum 500 ohm. This has a width of 9.45 inches. This has a depth of 3.93 inches, and it has a height of two and a half inches. It's almost quite literally, as I said, like a brick. And this weighs 2.5 pounds. Now, two and a half pounds is not a lot of weight, except when you realize that this little unit, for its size, really does have some hip to it. And that is a good thing, because it's indicative of the quality of the aluminum used in the body. Like, this thing is cool to the touch, it feels solid, it feels good in the hand. It's a Macintosh piece, of course it's well made. As I said, it's all a nice, matte anodized aluminum and on the top is a perfectly flush piano black sheet of glass just like on the front fascia of bigger macintosh products it's a mac product through and through in its design language and you already know 
So visually, you know it's gonna work in your Mac stack. But if you're just buying this to have a high quality means of adding Bluetooth to a system, and even if you don't own other Mac products, it's still subdued enough to not stick out like a sore thumb. And it's digital footprint, even in a sense, is no bigger than a smartphone. This is very special in that it is a class one Bluetooth device. A class one device has a useful range of up to 150 feet versus the traditional class two average of hanging around 30. That is a colossal difference. That is more than five times the size. And that is what you get when you buy a Macintosh Bluetooth transceiver. Not only the ability to operate two different ways, but to operate with an awesome range. On top of that, this is a Bluetooth 5.0 device, so it's gonna have maximum transmission quality. While it may not be Bluetooth 5.1, that is less relevant in this case because this is designed to be a stationary product. That was a protocol designed for, for two products that are constantly moving, whereas this is going to be positioned in your stack, and as long as your source device is within 150 feet, which is most of the range of most homes, you're gonna have an excellent experience. This has a stereo set of both balanced inputs and outputs and a stereo set of unbalanced, as in RCA, inputs and outputs. And for reference, those balance ins and outs are XLR. And lastly, you have digital in and digital out, coax and optical both ways. Now, let me put something into perspective for you guys. This is a transceiver meaning it can be both a transmitter and a receiver. And there's two different ways that it can operate. In receiving mode, it's going to be looking for inward coming signals. So that's like, for example, taking your phone, selecting Macintosh MB20 in your Bluetooth devices list, and then opening up your favorite streaming app like Tidal or Amazon Music, for example, playing a song, this will receive it. And then by whatever means you've connected it to your integrated, your preamp, whatever your front end is, Boom, that's how you're getting your music. The other method is completely the opposite way around. That would be transmitter mode. You could plug a turntable into the RCAs of this device after it's gone through a phono stage, that is, and then listen to your turntable playback on a wireless Bluetooth speaker, like a JBL product, for example, or your favorite pair of Bluetooth headphones. So this device gives you full featured Bluetooth compatibility going two different ways, delivering with the maximum signal transmission quality and maximum range. For $500, the MB20 Bluetooth transceiver will bring Bluetooth compatibility to almost every device in your system and do so at the maximum level of quality. So if you've got an itch for Bluetooth and needed to find a way to add it, this is it. If you want to pick one up for yourself, head on over to skybygramophone.com where you can check out securely and have one shipped fast and free straight to your door. Also, make sure to give us a call or stop by one of our showroom locations in Timonium, Columbia, and Gaithersburg, Maryland, as well as our Kitchen Design Center in Hunt Valley. You can also purchase one of these from any of those locations as well. You can even find us on social media. We're on Facebook, Instagram, Hal's, Twitter, and a few others. Just check the links down below. If you guys need help coming up with project ideas, need to schedule a service request, or you want to speak to one of our hi-fi home theater and interior design experts, get inspired at gramophone.com. Also, ask at gramophone.com if you have any questions for me about anything covered here on the channel. All right, guys, please give us a like if you enjoyed this video. Drop a comment down below and say hi, and subscribe to the Gramophone channel for all of your audio and home theater needs. Of course, I want to hear from you guys. What do you think of the MB20? Is this something that you're going to be getting for yourself? And what do you want to see from us in the future? Thank you guys for watching. Be seeing you.